Hello, hello, guys. I am Zakaria, the ghostwriter. I'm back with part two of Modimole Entrance. The gentleman made part two because Rachel asked a question. Are you still alive? Because you told us that you go in there and you will be on top of um, Modimole Mountain. In the name of Jesus, you are not going there to pray. You are not going to use a snake. You are going to use the name of Jesus because people have been lying. You can easily go there. And he responded by a 37 seconds video. Unfortunately, he is playing music. But if you can have a chance to go and watch the video, you will hear him saying, Hey, this is where I stop. I cannot continue. I can see the cave is right there. But I cannot even go there. He's saying, as I know, we, we, we come to mountains, Hopeta, to pray and do stuff, but I cannot even go further. As you see, his video there is showing you that there is a place where you see candles, whereby people were lighting candles there. And he also showed us a knife which has been bent. Obviously, that means there was a ritual which was done there. And he also saw shoes. And he understood that what was done there was not an easy thing. And he felt like he cannot proceed. He cannot continue with what he promised us that he will go all the way through. And it's exactly what I was saying. Do not just hear somebody saying, in the name of Jesus, I am going to climb that mountain and come back. Go there with a solid reason, not to prove a point. Because after he did that, people are curious. They're like saying, are you still alive? Because you are telling us that what our elders has been telling us years ago was a lie. You can go there in the name of Jesus and you can totally dominate the entire mountain. That's what you're telling us. But he failed. Clearly he failed. Because he had to answer. And you have to answer by showing videos that you are there on top. And when you look at the video when he is turning the camera, is showing you the road. He is not even far. You can still see cars down there. And he is still closer. And it's like saying, I'm not going further. So in my home language, they're saying, Molomo no It's easier said than done. Many people will say whatever that they want to say. But when is that time for them to prove that they are who they say they are? They cannot prove. So I'm happy that he uploaded the second video. Guys, please. When they're saying Mudimule Challenge, do not just do the Mudimule Challenge without knowing your story. I was there. I know. I'm not saying people are saying this or that. I was there. I know. And there is a reason why when people are going there in groups, it's because of Mudimule Swallow. It doesn't play. You know, and man, all we can do, man, is to tell people that do not just go to places because of people are saying it's okay to go to places. Have a reason why you go in there. Others are doing things for cloud. Others are doing things so that they can get followers. Others are doing things, you know, because of the see people doing things. Runa, some of us, we know that we cannot even hide or, or run away from the, the, this type of spiritual journey whereby we have to go to mountains, rivers, and caves because we get healed. We feel better when we're there. We feel crowded and, and stressed and, and, and disturbed a lot when we are in the noisy environment. For a lack of money, you know, we cannot even go camping whereby one can have a tent and spend about a week there. But those days will come, those moments will come, whereby a person will just spend a weekend camping somewhere, alone. You know, gathering my thoughts together, knowing that the business are running, knowing that I'm about to release another book, knowing that I have a big project that I have to execute so I can go somewhere and have a time alone, whereby I can regroup, or maybe after releasing a movie or after releasing a book, you know, stuff like that, where you are detoxing, you are connecting with yourself. So spirituality, spirituality, guys, he used the word hopetaria peta. That reveals that 
this guy or petadi taelo he's just dropping the name of jesus on top so that those who call themselves you know born again can be like anything can be done in the name of jesus we are all christians but me i, I always want to be honest with you we don't just flesh the name of jesus and we don't put in the work and think the name of jesus will will open up everything it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way those who have been closer to jesus just take a look at how it ended you know look at how they died those disciples just pay attention then you will know that walking with jesus doesn't mean you just flesh the name of jesus and everything automatically happens no you have to know how christianity is you know and many people are taking shortcuts and yeah man tumelo esena mosebetsi snasi when you say you believe when you say you have that faith in god you have to prove and you have to show don't just think you can just flash a name and let everybody you know jump around and saying in the name of in the name of everything can be easily done you can walk squad free you don't have to deal with any pain and anything it doesn't work that way in the in the old testament god has showed us that he doesn't like shortcuts everybody was catching you know smoke and that's how christianity is many people think they can just easily you know spin that name and and get get you know get away from situations it doesn't happen that way when you are doing things the right way you are calling the name doing the right things preparing yourself before taking trips it can be done that guy i can tell you he didn't just wake up and drive a car and, and stop then saying i just want to prove a point i can tell you he was there to pray but he couldn't make it he felt like you know what this is as far as like that's what we call fail because the thing that he said i can go there and do in the name of jesus it i'm not against the brother i'm just saying my guy just make it clear i'm going to pray something in the name of jesus i do believe that i will go there and i'll come back without any harm i believe that god will protect me i believe that in the name of jesus i will be safe make it clear and even if when you're climbing you just said this is how far i can go today and i'll pray that god will give me more strength so that i can get to the other side simple there is nothing wrong if you go there and you cannot even get into the cave there is nothing wrong 